Peanut is three years old, but in a sense, his life is only now just beginning. Since he was a few months old, the sweet dog had been kept tethered in the backyard of a home in rural Pennsylvania. His owners lived on the property, but they offered him no real love or companionship. All Peanut knew of the world was limited to what he could reach from the short, heavy chain around his neck. But recently, everything changed. Folks living in the area became aware of Peanut's depressing situation after a fence surrounding his yard toppled over, allowing a glimpse inside. The authorities were alerted, but nothing seemed to be done about it. Eventually, word spread to Hope for Erie Animal Wellness, a group outside the area that works to improve the lives of chained up dogs. That's when Russell Lyon Steinbuehler first learned about Peanut. My daughter volunteers with Hope and they got a lot of calls about this dog, but it's too far for them to go. They're about an hour away and nobody can make the commitment to get to that dog all the time, Steinbuehler told the Dodo. It's just a short drive from Steinbuehler's home to Peanut's, so she went to see his situation for herself and ultimately decided to get involved. I went out and took a look. Peanut had a dilapidated doghouse. The roof had holes in it. The floor was rotted out. He didn't have much to shelter him and we had a really wet spring. He was lying in the water because he couldn't get out of it. I love animals, so I said, I'll take care of the dog. I'll spend time with him, and I did. Steinbuehler approached Peanut's owners to offer help in making Peanut's life better. The family admitted that the dog had been kept his whole life chained, likely not out of malice, but more due to an old way of thinking about pets and a lack of education to what is appropriate today. To them, it seemed normal to keep Peanut outside tethered that way. Okay. A lot of people in this country grew up with dogs on chains, especially in rural areas. It's passed down still, Steinbuehler said. Not everybody has decided that it's better to have dogs inside. Still, Peanut's owners accepted Steinbuehler's ongoing assistance. Hope provided their support and guidance along the way. We started off by giving Peanut a new dog house, okay. new bowls, a tether, and new collar. Steinbuehler said. The new tether was long enough that she could reach some grass to lie down. When we showed up the next time, he was really enjoying the grass. He was smiling. It was like he was a different dog. Pino was more comfortable in body, no doubt. But over the next two months, Steinbuehler worked to comfort his spirit as well. He had such little interaction with anyone he didn't even know his own name. I made a point to go out there several times a week. Sometimes seven days a week, Steinbuehler said. I'd show up and spend half hour with this dog. When you first start showing up, he's so overexcited about somebody acknowledging him. He wanted to jump on everybody. Nobody spent any time with him. I would show up with treats and make him sit to get a pet. He was a fast learner. He's smart. We just started doing some obedient stuff. We'd play games. He loved playing fetch. Peanut was still tethered in that shadowy corner of the yard, but thanks to Steinbuehler, rays of hope were beginning to shine through. Although attitudes about how dogs should be regarded have been slow to change in too many cases, they were recently given the push they needed. This week, a new law went into effect in Pennsylvania limiting the amount of time a dog can be kept tethered. When informed of that by Steinbuehler, Peanut's owner agreed to surrender him to hope rather than to change the way they were treating him. And with that, Peanut was finally free. Never again would this dog be chained, and this was just the beginning. After liberating Peanut from his former life, Steinbuehler brought him to Critter Camp and Cuts for a bath, perhaps his very first. He enjoyed that part, but the best was yet to come. There's a fenced in yard outside the facility where Peanut was let loose to do something he'd never done before in his life, move freely. I cried, that was really emotional to me, Steinbuehler said. This dog never got to run. The owner told me she'd never seen him run in three years. Imagine never being able to run. When I let him loose, he was so joyful. He did the zoomies. Peanut's smile said it all. This is what the world is really like. Things will continue to get better for Peanut after his lifelong ordeal. Now, he's learning to adjust to life as a pet and has a foster family to teach him what it means to be cherished and loved. His rescuers wouldn't have it any other way. Peanut's conditions at the beginning of his story are, sadly, far from unique. While tethering laws do exist in many parts of the country, enforcing them isn't a priority for law enforcement. Steinbuehler hopes that raising awareness about these situations will inspire others to get involved where possible. Sometimes, that requires making a connection with a dog's owner to convince them to do what's right. 
Peanut's owner loved him enough to let him go. There's something to be said for that, Steinbuehler said, but I know there are a lot of more chained dogs out there, and I hope the country wakes up. Think about living your whole life on a chain. That's not a way for them to live. Get them off the leash and spend time with them, and they'll be happy. 